I guess Yana Agusa from Joshua Cruz, the guy always worrying about Japanese gaming society. Uh, we're gonna keep playing together 13 Sentinels AG stream on PS4. Uh, last video, we just cleared out the prologue of the game, and we know as the choice between seven different protagonists, and more protagonists will be unlocked later. And as you can see, seven protagonists, uh, the, the next chapters for some of the protagonists are locked, and there are various uh, requirements to unlock the chapters. You can unlock, uh, you can either reach a certain event in another protagonist story, either you need to clear a certain battle stage, and sometimes you need to unlock a certain file in the mystery files menu. Uh, here, which is uh, basically um, an archive for the game, a library of all the keywords in the game to give you hints about the story. And you need uh, some mystery points to unlock these files, and you get these mystery points by playing the game, beat the battles or the adventures. And you can also rewatch the story events we've watched until we've seen it until now. So, for now, we're gonna do some battles. Uh, so, these were the tutorials battles we cleared in the previous videos, and now we're gonna start the real first real battle with the game as well. So, we're gonna divide ourselves between. Uh, Defense on an attack squad. Uh, is there any need to divide ourselves like this? Yeah, we could just all attack together. Now we, we're fighting to defend ourselves, to defend the city. Uh, the G are attacking to reach the terminals. Uh, and basically, we need to protect the terminals from the aliens, uh, which are called, called the demons. Uh, in short, it's the Uh, so certain enemies are flying, so certain something else can't reach them because we need to think about uh, formation depending on what kind of enemies we are here because we have some flying sentinels, we have some sentinels uh, specialized in long range, we have some sentinels specialized in close range, and we have some all purpose sentinels. Uh, so yes, yeah, this is a tutorial explaining to me I can I need to pick up to six characters. I'm gonna deactivate everyone first. And I need to pick six characters. So as you can see we have three generation one sentinels. Uh, there are the close range ones, we have the three generation two sentinels, which are the all purpose ones. We have the three generation three sentinels, which are the Long, long range specialists and lastly lastly we have four uh, fourth generation sentinels which are flying units and they're pretty strong so I'm gonna pick up plus two I'm gonna pick Godo because it's voiced by Pikachu Lelouch in Code Gears and I'm gonna pick the attack uh, Takamiya because she's a Sekeban then we need to pick some close range people and I'm gonna pick uh, Hijiyama I'm gonna pick some two of them and I'm gonna pick uh, Kisaragi. Now we can launch. Uh, is this okay? No, this is, uh, is not a playable character, but it's pretty important. And it's the one, it's one of the, is uh, pretty much the one who invented the giant matches we're using. Uh, yes. Uh, it's gonna teach me how to customize and upgrade my matches. Uh, so we've got some. Whenever we fight, we have some battle data uh, called meta chips, and with the meta chip system, we can 
we can upgrade our sentinels and our weapons. And we can even create new weapons for the sentinels. Oh, and he didn't test it out before, so he didn't bring it up until now. And now we're gonna test it out. And this is probably a, this is basically a tutorial, I guess, to teach me how to customize. Uh, I need to pick Hijama, it said, and to press triangle. Uh, uh, I showed this menu before it is, uh, yeah, it's really complicated. It's not that complicated. Uh, at the right, you have the weapons uh, the Sentinel is is equipped with, and with Triangle you can upgrade these weapons. Right. For example, we can upgrade the Rush Attack uh, from level zero to level one, which will make it uh, do one more hit. Basically, it become a combo attack. And we have the currency at the back, at the bottom right, uh, number of the ships. I have over. 20,000 ships, so it's fine to upgrade some stuff. I'm gonna upgrade the demolition blade attack because it's pretty strong and it's pretty useful. And I'm gonna upgrade it too. Oh, and at some point, you've got uh, an upgrade limit. Uh, you need to have the metal system at level 2. And I guess you this metal system thing will be upgraded later on in the story. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade the people I'm going to sort you right now. Uh, yeah, it's telling me to upgrade my team uh, to always keep keep an eye on these systems. Oh, so the sentinels could get even stronger. Yeah, it's better if we don't uh, if we don't let uh, if we stay on our guards. Uh, they are a bit confused about it because it's all the first time we are piloting most of the most of them. Okay, uh, let's upgrade a little bit, everyone. I'm gonna upgrade uh, the rockets. Okay, we can fight now. So this is the first real stage of the game and it's still the same the same day and in the tutorial, it's right after the events of the tutorial was occurring. The battle events, I mean. Uh, when I'm walking, piloting my mecha, my feet start to hurt. Uh, do you guys have this problem too? I'm surprised Usami started piloting too. Yeah, I thought something was weird when uh, you kept talking about your dreams. And I know you were involved too, Yuri. Oh, so the, um, the pain you're feeling in, on, in your legs is because uh, you're not accustomed yet to the the link to the brain link system of the Sentinel, and when, once you keep piloting, you'll get used to it and you won't feel this pain anymore. And we have 13 Sentinels here, so we have some firepower. Yeah, but we'll probably receive heavier attacks than back on sec Sector 3. Uh, 
uh, basically what they call sectors, uh, if I understood right in the story so far, the sectors are basically the number of times they went back in time and sector 3 was the last time they went back in time and now we, we're in another sector basically. I think that's what, that's what it refers to. Okay, so we need to defeat all the enemies. Uh, we lose if the terminal is at ease, uh, lose all of his HP or if one of the pilots die. So we have the defense guys uh, all around the terminal and we have the six sentinel are deployed. So the aliens are touching down and once they touch down they are happier so we need to prepare. I'm gonna move uh, Krabi. I'm gonna move everyone. Uh, Goro is flying so I'm just gonna put him here for now. Uh, Hijiyama is a close range specialist uh, in a generation 1 so I'm gonna move him close to him. Uh, Kisaragi is generation 3 so she's a long range so I'm just gonna leave her here. Um, Takamiya is flying too so I'm gonna send her here for now. Okay so we are some enemies here. Uh, there's a Quad guy, the quad guys are only weak to close range attacks, so I'm gonna do some heavy knuckles attack. And I'm gonna send Hijiyama to attack too. Oh, there's another. There's more monsters coming over there. So I'm gonna send her. If uh, uh, you can summon some turrets, basically, that will shoot automatically. I'm gonna summon one. Okay, let's attack the quad guy. <laughs> oh, I can't get past the G motor. Okay. Shoot some missiles. I'm really liking the battle system so far. I didn't play the game much because I'm pretty much only playing as I'm recording at the same time. So I really like the games. Lots of games. Is that about so far? I'm not gonna talk much to concentrate on the battle, so I'm just gonna clear this fast and then we'll move on to the adventure part later on. Mommy size. Okay, the quad guy is dead. Uh, but there's uh, another one which, which just popped out. And there's some twin tails. The twin tails enemies shoot missiles to the towards the terminals. So if they shoot missiles, you need to shoot them down. Or else the terminal will receive a lot of damage. Uh, see, the quad guys can shoot some missiles too. 
and if you see uh, he's a generation one so he's only got some attacks which can reach on the ground so I need someone who can shoot uh, in the air to destroy the missiles like uh, Kisaragi like this I shot down I didn't shoot down all the missiles uh, let's attack the quad guy Ah, uh, quad guy is almost dead. Okay, he's dead. There's only one thing left, and we're done. Just one walker, small guy. Okay, seems like it's over. Yeah, it's over. Defeated all the enemies. The Aegis system was activated and the terminal is sealed now. And we turn this area into a safe area in a 2 km radius. Uh, it's the same thing that happened in previous videos, but uh, not gonna re explain all the other things. Oh, all the, all the enemies have disappeared. Yeah, I could have done this from the start if you could do that. Yeah, we can't. That's the problem. Uh, the AG system doesn't activate uh, unless uh, the terminal is attacked by the G. Uh, the Ds are aiming to, to invade the plate. Well, uh, there seems to be uh, something underground, and that's what the the aliens are aiming for. And they need to reach this by using the terminals, so that's why we're protecting the terminals things. And if they reach that place, then the world will end, basically. And we need to protect the terminals and activate uh, the AG system at each terminal. So we can only defend ourselves, uh, we can't counterattack basically. We're fighting defensive battles. Oh, and we have the visual screen. Hijiyama took some damage but seems to be fine. And a lot of, of characters are leveling up too. Uh, yeah, the result screen is in English, so I don't need to translate this. And basically, the the rank depends on if you protected the city correctly, if you didn't receive a lot of damage, etc. And if you get an S rank, you get uh, a new entry in the library, in the Mystery Files library. And each stage also has some bonus side missions basically. And in this stage, it was to clear the stage uh, with uh, uh, above 50% of HP for the city, which I did. So I'm getting another special entry in the Mystery Files ar archives. And now we've got three Mystery Prints. Uh, if you wanna stay, if not, we're gonna keep going. Uh, wanna do the next wave? Yes. Uh, new tutorial. Uh, uh, she's explaining to me that uh, if I keep doing missions uh, in succession, I'll get more points, basically. I'll get more XP. But, uh, oh, no. 
be uh, brain uh, it's telling me that uh, each character has some brain fat here basically because uh, piloting the sentinels uh, puts some strain on their brains because uh, their brains are directly linked with some nano machines and stuff so you need to this is, this is a phagic system basically to force you to to not always use the same characters And if you press if you press the square button, you can make all the pilots, all the protagonists rest. Uh, so that way, the their their BD George will go down to zero. But you lose the the succession bonus, the successive battles bonus. So now, for these guys, uh, the Fatic George is a yellow thing at the top of each portrait. So we're gonna switch characters. We're gonna pick the others. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade each one of them too. I'm gonna teach her the turret summon and equip it and upgrade it. And upgrade the rockets. Let's teach her the missiles because that's a really good attack and equip it and upgrade it. And the last character we're deploying is him. So let's upgrade him too. Uh, got some lots of other weapons we'll unlock later, I guess. For now, we just got a few weapons. Uh, pulse lasers, I uh, don't really need this. Uh, let's just upgrade his missiles. Uh, I'm gonna save. Okay. Uh, I have some info on these uh, weird flying demons. They're, ca they're called drill fly. Wait, these guys are flying, so how are they going to drill to reach the uh, nucleus, the terminals, and the nucleus? Uh, my sentinel specializes in punching stuff, so I can't reach this guy because they're flying. So, in case like this, we can just use the EMP to stun them and make them fall, and then we can punch them. Ah, this is annoying. Uh, he's saying that in the past, like before the time traveled, uh, they used other matches called the uh, series uh, 198, and these guys uh, couldn't fight properly in close range, so they got defeated because of that. So then they created they created Sentinel specialized in close range. And these are the first generation Sentinels. But uh, because they specialize in, cl in close range, they can do anything against flying enemies. Oh, Amiguchi, how do you know all this? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I learned it in my dreams. Because they, they have some dreams, be uh, they have dreams from before they time travel, possibly. Okay, another battle. 
uh, yeah, defeat all the enemies, same conditions as the usual. So we have some new enemies here, and as you can see, the characters I didn't deploy uh, who are around the terminals, they shoot too, like this guy just shoot. I didn't say anything, uh, he just shoot by himself. So, okay, let's do this. him up there because there are some enemies coming I'm gonna move him too just in pre prevention I'm gonna summon a turret Uh, I need to move him a bit because uh, he's gonna get hit by the touchdown if he's too close. Okay, so it's fine guys, so he can't do anything because it's a close range guy, so I'm just gonna tell him to defend himself and wait until uh, he can move and he has some missiles, so let's do this. I shot some missiles, so I'm gonna shoot them down. Oh, the missiles, I need to shoot this down. Uh, like this. Oh, I'm stupid, this doesn't reach in the air. Oh, no, it did, it's fine. Okay. So, there's more enemies coming here, so we're just gonna wait it out. Okay, yeah, it's fine, guys, again. Uh, let's do this with the missiles. Repair, uh, no, I, if you do repair, uh, the character will unsummon, will deactivate his sentinel, meaning he'll be on foot and he'll be vulnerable, so it's better to not do this unless you really need to. Let's just uh, defend. Uh, move him here. Uh, move here to. Oh no, just defense. Oh, more flying guys. So, more missiles. I can't do anything because they are all flying, so just defense. I'm gonna summon another turret. Uh, 
Uh, Spore is the final wave. Oh, she's shooting some missiles. That's fine, we need a shutdown. Okay. Uh, she got hit pretty hard. Uh, I'm gonna use a different special Guardian ability. Like, she can summon the barrier. gonna tell her to research. More flying guys, okay. Yep. Tons of flying guys. Oh, there's something you just appeared somewhere, I'm not sure where. Uh, what should I do now? Shoot down these missiles. Okay. Oh, I need to stop all these guys. It's probably his final wave now. Yeah, it's over. Okay. Okay, things are fine now here. Uh, I want to ask you guys something, uh, my head is starting to hurt. Come to think of it, me too. Uh, are you gonna be fine? Uh, this is the, the movement limit of the sentinels. It's better if you step down from the sentinel for now. Uh, in the first place, the sentinels are dangerous machines and just piloting them will put some strain in your brains. Um, the amateurs shouldn't pilot them for too long. Um, if you stay inside too long, the nanomachines will start affecting your brain too much or something. And if you don't want to lose your memories, you should get down right now. Uh, these machines are really crazy. Okay, let's get down for a second. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the same tutorial as earlier. The brain uh, something, really brain limits. Uh, you need to make the units rest. Okay. Oh, I've got an additional bonus because I did two battles in a row. This is the series battle bonus. And I cleared the... Oh, I didn't clear one of the... One of the additional missions. I 
I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna use the rest to make everyone rest. Oh, uh, there's a. Oh, no, nothing, no, didn't say anything. Uh, let's go back to Hijiyama and here. Uh, I'm gonna step down. Uh, gonna build this two again. And uh, generation 3. Kisara like Ritual. Oh, and you can customize the characters themselves too, but for now it seems it's locked. I'm not sure what this is about for now. This will unlock later. And these are pilot skills. Uh, pilot uh, skill will unlock at level 5, at level 10. Yeah, every 5 levels you've got a new pilot skill. And now I don't, for now I don't have any. Okay. Oh, and you can update the you can upgrade the terminals themselves too. So, f for example, uh, metal system level two are they? Oh, so this is where you upgrade the metal system. Okay, and if I upgrade this, then I'll be able to upgrade my weapons even more. I see. Okay, yeah. And she's to give me more score bonus. Okay, that's that's very nice. Just uh, uh, to upgrade the skill that lets you uh, uh, repair the terminal on spare battle. This uh, lets you repair units on spare battle. Uh, cool, reduce the cooldowns of units. Uh, put some shields. I uh, can read this, I'm gonna check this later. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think I upgraded everyone. These tripod things. Yeah, uh, these are the high quads. I fought one of these before. But, like, aren't these just giant cranes? Yeah, you shouldn't uh, let your guard down. Uh, these have uh, some heavy weapons. Um, and they have some very high armor, so plasma cannons aren't effective. So yeah, we need to get close to defeat these guys. That's why I've, I gave uh, a demolition blade to all of the generation ones. Why did they put weapons on cranes? Uh, probably because they they did that to to synchronize with us to defend against us basically so you mean they started putting weapons on these things because we the sentinels have appeared but we should see be able to defeat them anyway anyway probably don't lose focus it'll definitely go well uh, what do you mean megumi 
Oh, they're coming, so stay focused. We need to win this. Yeah, same conditions, defeat all of the enemies. Uh, I hope there will be more variations in battles objectives later on. Uh, it seems like a pretty hard mission. A uh, lot of guys. I think it's better if I wait, but I need to send some close range guys to defeat the quad guys. So I'm gonna send Hijiana. Uh, oh, I only picked one guy. Oh, that's a mistake. I should have picked at least two generation one something else. Uh, I don't think you can change during the mission. Yeah, you can't. You can't move defense and offense, guys. Uh, whatever, it'd, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Shooting some missiles is gonna destroy the city. Gonna try to shoot some down. I shot down two missiles. Sorry, oh, another quad guy here. Uh, Takamiya got some really nice close range attack with a uh, heals attack, leg spike. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna summon some turrets. Let's demolition blade this guy. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay, one quad guy down. But he shot tons of missiles before dying. Uh, I don't, I can't shoot these downs at all. So it's gonna, yeah, the rockets won't reach. Uh, let's just kill these guys. Okay, another quad guy is gonna die. Uh, there's a new one over there. Uh, I'm gonna use the special thing of the terminal to stun all the enemies. You can only use this on spare battle, and you can only use it when the meta George as the bottom is full. So now all the enemies are stunned, so it will make me things easier for me for a little seconds. And uh, tell Hijiyama to leap on this guy, to demolition blade this guy. to defeat these two before they get closer to the terminal. Okay. 
I'm gonna stun them again, stun with uh, EMP. Uh, we're gonna attack the high quad. I need to move Fujiyama because he's in the range, in the attack. Uh... Oh, I I'm just gonna defeat him anyway, so he knows, he's not gonna shoot. Okay, well, another fat guy down. This seemed like a really hard mission, but it's going pretty well. It's pretty much over. Oh, I used the... Uh, as, uh, uh, leg spikes too much and I didn't make her defense so she's lacking energy now so we're just gonna use the uh, small lasers <laughs> Jogutsu <laughs> means like uh, go to go to hell or go to paradise depends uh, in Buddhism like basically she said uh, okay, go to hell basically a very funny way to say it, a Japanese way to say it, like, uh, to say it this way. Uh... Oh, she's too far away. This defense. I'll leave it to Jewel. Oh, he's dead. That's why I can't attack him. Oh, can I? Oh, okay. Uh, there's only one enemy left there as the order. And we are done. Oh, it's too far away. Okay, so uh, the CD is, an, is at 90%, so he's burning a lot, but he didn't get destroyed that much. I probably won't have some mess, uh, malice on that. Damn it, the city is burning. Uh, if we fight, then tons of people get uh, get rubbed up in the fight. Yeah, the, the evacuations aren't perfect. There's still some people out there. Uh, Shikishima is uh, basically a company, uh, a secret company who built the Sentinels, I guess, if I understood right. Uh, Shikishima company and the government are working together to evacuate everyone, but uh, it's not perfect. But yeah, but in the first place, if we don't fight, then the war will end, so we have no choice. Oh, I've uh, more G's are attacking another terminal. Uh, it seems like over there people di didn't evacuate yet. Wait, 
I hope Miyako didn't ride in the bus. Miyako is the big tails girl we've seen in the previous videos. Oh, I can find her with a drone maybe. Okay, I'll try. Uh, I hope my parents ran away just uh, just as I told them to. Victory! Yeah, if, uh, three of my characters received quite damage, but it, uh, it, it went by fine. Oh, okay, so uh, Hijema reached level 5 and he's got a uh, skill. I'm gonna check the skills. Yeah, everyone got some skills now. Nice. I'm gonna check in the menu what the skills do. Another run, guess. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna try a hard mode because uh, I think it's fine like this. It's hard enough for now. the way for Some characters got some skills now. Uh... Oh, so... Oh, you can even activate or deactivate the skills. That's really well thought. So, his skill is the more the city is destroyed, the more his attack power will rise. Uh, uh, no skill yet. Uh... And his skill is if there's uh, the more pilots you deploy, the more his stats will get a boost. And the skill is oh, that's the inverse, that's the reverse. Like if you deploy less than six pilots, then she will get a boost. That's really nice. Uh, bike on the. Uh, basically boost his movement. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's upgrade people a bit some more. Uh, I've got a lot of money to upgrade for now, so I wonder if it, if it will stay this way or... If I uh, get some, um, uh, but you can farm anyway because you can redo the missions, so it's not really a problem. That's a really strong mess missile, but I can't buy it yet. Uh, heavy weight gun. I'm gonna get this. one or two battles and then we're gonna move on to the adventure part. Uh, stage four. Uh, 
Oh, and it's a new enemy. A drum mine. Oh, these things are annoying. Just so that, that uh, these guys are here too. Uh, are these then monsters that dangerous? So these are some kinds of proximity mines, like if you get close then they will self-destruct and deal a lot of damage to the surroundings. Yeah, we need to be careful or else uh, we'll get a lot of casualties. But maybe we can use them into our advantage. Oh yeah, we can punch them basically and punch them in a horde of kaiju, so then they will explode uh, in among their comrades and yeah, we can use we use their power to our advantage, but it won't be easy. I really like this idea using using our opponent's strength. I really like this idea. Okay. Yeah, same conditions defeat all the enemies. So we need to be careful uh, of these drum mines things. Uh, there's enemies coming there, so I'm gonna send someone there in, in uh, just in case. Oh uh, yeah, Kushiji can fly, just use the missiles, the missiles. Uh, Goro do the same thing to shoot down the drum mines. Yeah, if you shoot them down normally, they don't explode, so it's fine. Uh, Mira, uh, just defend for now. Uh, Ogata, uh, just stay here for now. Uh, summon a turret, Shinonome. Uh... Oh, there's a monster here, I didn't notice. I'll yeah, just defend for now. Oh, 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 the bomb's gonna explode. Uh, I can't move him yet. Oh, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. Uh... Maybe if I can destroy them like this. No, that didn't work out though. Oh, it's gonna explode, it's gonna explode, it's gonna explode. Uh, maybe, hopefully this will destroy them before they explode. Yeah, it's fine, okay, nice. Uh, basically, the enemy's uh, attack range is in red, and the yellow range is uh, the charging time. And once uh, the yellow recovers all of the red, then uh, once the yellow part uh, reach all of the red part, then the attack will trigger. So you need to destroy enemies before they before they attack. The, uh, destroying enemies before they attack and finish charging the attacks is a good strategy. Uh, let's shoot some missiles. <laughs> Oh, tons of drum mines, so it's better if I move. Uh, uh, maybe if I punch this guy, he's gonna get pushed there, then maybe he's gonna explode on all the others. I'm gonna try this out. Yeah, no, it didn't work out. Uh, it's, uh, pretty hard. it's pretty hard to use. 
uh, their explosions against themselves. Oh, I did it just now. Oh, nice. Just I was saying it's pretty hard, I managed to do it. More enemies are coming. Uh, flying guys and some mines. Uh, let's go kill the mines with uh, some demolition. Like this. Get ready for them, just defend. Okay. It is or oh, more drum mines, so let's shoot the uh, ray gun. Uh, I just Wasn't a great idea. And uh, now just they are going to explode, so I need to destroy them. Oh, uh, and I didn't do it. And I need to kill these guys before they explode. Okay, I did it. Alright, it's over. Evacuated properly. Yeah, Eguchi was saying that he used to play here in, in back in the days or something. And Mura Kentaro is saying that um, it's hard to see a place is filled with memories getting destroyed like this. Yeah, but we're fighting a defensive battle on a in our grants, so we can't avoid casualties. Uh, so how many casualties will, it, will get out even if we win the, these battles? Uh, how long will the city keep getting destroyed? Calm down, Ogata. Uh, if you lose your cool, uh, it won't help anyone. Uh, we have no other choice but, but to keep fighting. Victory! Uh, we are in one hour. Uh, we've been playing for one hour now, so we're gonna do one more battle and then we're gonna switch to the adventure path to get more some story elements.
Yeah, I cleared both of the special missions again. Save. Uh, okay, boss battle. This is gonna be the first boss. I mean, I didn't see it yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, tutorial EMP, Kono Web, Dewa, Type. Uh, what is he saying? Uh, it's gonna be large type. Uh, Monsters appearing in this wave, large flying types, okay? Uh... Okay, so the flying uh, sentinels have low attack power and the ground Sentinels have higher the power, but they can't reach them. So we need to use the EMP to make the these guys fall down, and then the ground sentinels, the generation one sentinels, will be able to eat them. Okay, that's what they said earlier already. So I already know this. Uh, let's make everyone rest. Uh, then I should. Pick uh, Natsuno, Minami Natsuno is a good EMP attack, so I'm gonna pick her. Uh, I'm gonna pick some Generation 1 guys. Uh, yeah, this team should be fine. Just gonna upgrade people a little bit. Uh, what is this skill? Uh, yeah, okay. Just gonna upgrade everyone's demolition blade because it's really important to defeat the enemies like quad guys, which are only weak to close range attacks. Uh, She'll be fine. I'm gonna upgrade Natsuno's EMP attack. Okay, she'll be able to. I'm not sure how this boss, how hard this boss is, but we should be fine. So this is the first boss battle of the game. Carrier, uh, Mira is saying, Is that a boomer? Hey, Ogata, didn't we see this guy before? Uh, what? Oh, we saw that, uh, we saw that in the space plan in the kaiju no in the giant monsters graveyard or something oh, i'm not sure what this means the shigai in like the, uh, they saw some destroyed kaijus and uh, these destroyed kaijus had some space plans on them and they saw plans of this plane in, in these basically uh, the computer of the sentinels have no data on these things oh i do have some data on it uh, it's called Terra Carrier. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a carrier unit. Uh, I don't think it's carrying potatoes, isn't it? Uh, 
撃それってもしかして攻撃も弾いちゃうとか大気圏突入も可能な戦隊で反発時期で覆われてるそうだそう、so, It's capable of carrying many many units 大気圏突入も可能な戦隊で反発時期で覆われてるそうだ、oh, 中身は何かわからないだが嫌でも運んでくれるぞ、uh, We don't know what, it, what it's carrying but it's definitely bad news So we need to destroy it before it can it can launch these things. Uh Sento Deva Terra Karia Okay, so we need to defeat this guy and then we win the battle. Okay, so we finally have a first different uh, mission objective. Uh, if you defeat the boss you win. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Um, the strategy is to use the EMP to make it fall down and then we'll attack it when it's on the ground. Oh, I just noticed uh, BGM is pretty different than what we've heard so far. Uh, Minami is the one with the EMP, so I need to move uh, closer, so that way it will be in the range of the EMP. Summon a turret, please. Yeah, she's too far away. I'm gonna move her closer again. Uh, these are flares uh, to make some decoys, some aerial, some airborne decoys. That way, it can, this can. These are missiles flares, basically. So I'm gonna use them in each case and shoot some missiles. Hopefully the missiles will go the other way, away from the terminal. Uh, okay, let's use the EMP now. Oh no, she's still too far away. Uh, she's still moving. Okay. Uh, there's some monsters here, but uh, I can't just leave them be. I can't just leave them be and move Fiji Yama closer. Uh, try his leg attack on the Terrakaya and see what it if it does a lot of damage or not. Yeah, it's not that much damage. Okay. Uh, kill these guys. Uh, summon another turret. Okay, so she's close enough for the EMP, and then I'm gonna use Hijiyama and Sekigahara to use their demolition blade and destroy this thing. Okay, it fell down. 
So that's a sub. Devolution Blade is on free. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much dead already. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Ah, he's dead. Uh, signal destroyed. Uh, Terra Carrier's signal has been destroyed. Confirmed. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, so it wasn't that easy. Okay, there are two more Terra Carriers. Ah, that's nice. Uh, Hijama, you should use the. Uh, uh, plasma EMP. Uh, we need to use that if we're getting surrounded like this. Okay. I know, but the CD is. Uh, yeah, just, I should use this. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Uh, what should. Oh, should I do this? Like. Uh, Hijiyama is here, and uh, Sekigahara is here, so I should be able to hit both Terra Carriers if I use the EMP now, but I might just use uh, Minami's EMP because it's better, and skip the Terminal's EMP as a trump card, I'm just gonna move uh, Minami a little bit, so she'd be in range for the... to hit this other Terra Carrier. Uh, for now I'm gonna shoot some... Uh, I'm gonna use this. Is there someone with a shield? No, no one with a shield. Uh, defense. For now, let's try and uh, reduce the number of enemies. Okay, Minami should be in range now. Okay. And now, more demolition blade time. Okay, one Terra carrier down. Hey, look! It fell down. Uh, where did the where did the remains of the mecha fall down? Yeah, there's still one left. Okay. So you have some small events like this uh, during battles. Oh, it started flying again. Uh, Minami isn't ready yet, so he's gonna. Shoot like this one on. Summon another turret. Here. Go destroy these guys. Okay, Minami is ready again for some more uh, EMP. Um, now we can destroy the third Terra Carrier. Uh, 
からうまく動いてくれよ助かるよね喧嘩なら負けねえんだがこの OK どうだスクラップテラキャリアディス Uh, you destroyed all the Terra Chaos. Okay, we're done. Yeah, it was a really nice boss fight. Okay, same. Uh, usual Yuji's system has been activated and the terminal has been sealed. Yeah, we did it. Uh, okay, we've got another objective. Let's move on to the next terminal. Wow, already? Well, we can't catch a break. Uh, yeah, uh, we're kind of close to the operation limits, so let's get down of uh, something else for a little bit for now. She's saying she's gonna keep fighting anyway, and uh, you better wait for her to bring back some trophies. Uh, so, Godo is taking a break. Godo is our leader, and uh, she's saying she can fight even without a leader. Oh nice, we got a rank S for the battle, for the boss battle too. Nice. And I missed uh, one of the... Uh, what was the condition? Uh, oh, like... No, I can't read this. I think... You, it was to clear the mission with only four, with less than four units on the defense. I think. Not sure. Well, let's save. Oh, okay. And now I need. To play uh, Mura Kentaro's uh, product, and then I'll be able to keep playing the battles. So yeah, we, we did all the battles we could. Uh, let's buy some uh, some uh, files with all the points we have. I'll read this later. I don't think I'll translate all this, but I probably read this later uh, outside my videos. And I, I'd read the most important ones to understand the story. Okay, so let's move on to some adventure parts now. Some visual novel parts. Okay, and now that I've cleared enough battles, I can unlock uh, his parts. Okay. Uh, let's see what to pick. I'm gonna pick uh, him, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Last time in his product, in his product uh, chapter, basically he lost his memories, and he's being pursued by some men in blacks. Uh, he woke up in a dark alley, and he ended up, he ended up killing. Uh, it seems like he killed the, 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 the mm, how do you call that again? The health, the health teacher from the, from the school. And now he's running away, and then he found a message from himself from the past, like in Total Rico. And uh, he told him to not believe anyone, and that he's from another world, like uh, because he time traveled. And now he needs to look for a way to go back to his real world and without getting captured by the many black guys. So let's keep doing story now. 
was a pretty rough previously on because I, I kind of forgot what happened in the past two because it's been like three weeks since I last, since I last played the game. Uh, okay, let's translate. Uh, it doesn't look like some being followed. Uh, I need to think carefully about what should I do next. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I can check the the scenario chart uh, with the square button. And uh, uh, the events in blue means I can go back to these events and pick other choices. Okay. Yeah, so this is the product we did the other time, and this is the event we're in right now. And we have some things to unlock next. Basically, in blue, it means that you have some, you will be able to get some key hints or some key I items for the story. And so we need to do this. Oh, it's just two drunk salary men in the background, and we cannot talk with them. Uh, I'm not sure if this stadium really exists. I'm not sure where, where this is in Japan. So, but as it has always, it's really beautiful. Probably is not a beautiful 2D game in a long, long, long way. Uh, I was told it's better if I stay near the station because there's a lot of people. I shouldn't stay in a deserted area. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's look up this, let's look uh, look over the situation uh, uh, communication device yeah it's the same thing that what he said in those uh, those times he has a phaser again too uh, I can use it in a non lethal way that is weird. Uh, I know how to use this gun. He has a weird, weird medicine. Uh, he's got a key too, which seems to be a cross key. And that was uh, in his pocket, if I remember correctly. And some code, we don't know what it is yet. Some kind of password. And this is a student ID of Jisaka Fusaka Iori, like when he, when he bumped into her in her chapter. Uh, I think I remember this girl, but I can't remember. Uh, Morimura, it's the uh, files on Morimura. Morimura sensei is a health, the health teacher that he seemingly killed in, in his product. And she's also from the future, she can time travel and stuff. She's an important character, but she's not playable. She's not among the protagonists as far as I, as far as I know for now. Morimura Chihiro, 31 uh, yeah, she was 31 years old, uh, Shihiro Morimura, and she was a health teacher at the school, Sakura Koko, at Sakura High School. Uh, the student Heidi I've got uh, is also from the school. Uh, and this was a memo uh, in Morimura. In Morimura's file, I've got on her. Uh, it said if you cannot apprehend this person, then shoot them and kill them. Uh, who ordered this? Um, the fact that he's coming from another world. Uh, I'm from another world. Uh, the me before I lost my memories said so. And it seems like there's a way to escape from this world. Uh, 
Hey there. Uh, you saw that video, right? Uh, who's speaking? Uh, I'm one of your comrades. Uh, one of my comrades? Uh, I didn't think uh, that the situation would, would go down this way. Uh, good job. Uh, Good job about Morimura's case. Oh, so you're the one who wrote these orders. So the person on the phone is the person who told uh, him to kill the, the health teacher. Uh, I can't remember anything. Yeah, that's why I'm calling you right now. Listen well, don't, don't trust anyone. Uh, does that include you too? Yeah, it's it's better if you if you're that uh, if you're that vigilant, it's better. Uh, or else you won't be able to escape from this world. Escape. Uh, stay where you are for now. Uh, I'll do something about the men in blacks. And I'll contact you sometime later. Uh, eat cat. Okay. Don't believe anyone, huh? Uh, my own video also talk about this and about escaping. Uh, so maybe I should just wait for that person to contact me again? No. He specifically told me to not trust anyone. Uh, both the victim, the health teacher, and the person on this student ID is from Sakura High School. So maybe this school girl knows something. Okay, so now we can go look for Fusaka Iori. Uh, when downs come, I'll go take a look at the school. So she's the following day at 8 a.m. in front of the school gates. Uh, class is starting. Oh, I'll be late. Oh wait, I need to go pick something at my club room first. So that was me, Nami, she's one of the protagonists too. And if I understood right, basically all of these stories uh, are happening before what we're seeing in the battles, basically. The battles are after all this. Uh, in the end, she, no one appeared. She's not here. He's looking, he's looking for Yuri, for Fusaka Yuri. Yeah, she, here, here she is. Oh, Aikun. Fuyusaka. Hiyori. Uh, I was worried, you know. Uh, you've been absent. Uh, I didn't see you for... for a few days now. But... I'm happy you... you're fine. I'm happy you're okay. She's a bit, little bit too close here. <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just backed down. She was really way too close. What's wrong? Oh, I need to tell her something. Uh, 
again it's really beautiful I'm, I can't say this enough I'm gonna say this all the time this is the most beautiful 2D game in a really long way uh, I guess I can enter the school oh, I need to think about something Morimura Chihiro, 31歳。敷島の兵器開発に関与。重要人物。Okay, so uh, Chihiro Mori Morimura was uh, a very important person involved in the development of the Sentinels at the Shikishima Corporation. And she's the one who died. Uh, when he woke up in the dark alley, it seems like he killed her, but we we don't know for sure yet. Okay, um, this. Uh, we need to accept our destiny. That's what Morimura Chihiro, Chihiro said. I'm trying to rem to remember this. I think it was. Uh, okay, remember. Uh, we're gonna get a flashback now. Yeah, this is Morimura Chihiro. This is a teacher. Uh, in 2064, okay. Oh, so you were here. Yeah, I wanted to look down the city. Uh, we probably never see this uh, this scenery again. Yeah. There will probably be many casualties. Uh, in Sector One, we didn't uh, finish the preparations in time, and we couldn't do anything. But this time it will be different. Uh, we'll stop these guys. She's speaking about the, the aliens, probably. Yeah, I, I wish so. Uh, this time we have, uh, we have 19 sentinels. And we've got some good results in the battle simulators. Yeah, but we have no guarantee that we'll face the, the exact same enemies. So in the end, whether we can win or, or not will depend on luck. So we need to think about the worst case scenario. And if we lose this... Uh, we'll have to loop again and restart everything from the beginning. So yeah, they are they are traveling back in time to try and to try and prepare humanity against the aliens, I guess, basically. And uh, uh, it's better to do this this way. And uh, you mean we'll abandon that this world, like? Uh, each time they are time traveling, they are changing worlds at the same time, and they are calling each world sectors. Uh, she's saying that uh, they end up abandoning this world if they end up, uh, if they end up looping time again. Everyone in this world will be doomed, basically. No, I don't wish to run away anymore. Uh, if we cannot. Uh, finish this this time then then we'll start the Aegis plan the Aegis strategy so yeah the Aegis strategy is what's happening uh, in the battles we're doing so basically all the battles we're doing are after all these stories and the Aegis plan has been put into motion so you mean we'll stop looping we will stop time looping uh, if we do that, no one will be able to escape from here. At the very least... Uh, Shogai... What's, what does this mean again? Let me check. Uh, Shogai... Uh, 
Champion of the Tower at the very least we should Uh, at the very least, we'll be able to uh, like show guy what we'll be able to. At least we'll be able to to end our life. Basically, she's saying that at least they won't be able, they won't have to go through looping time again and again anymore. Uh, even if this world turns up into ruin, when well this time comes, then we'll have to accept our own destinies. But, but uh, I'll defeat these guys so this doesn't happen. And if you do this, then this world. Yeah, Sekigahara. Oh, so you heard us. Yeah, it's me. Can I just go away? Oh, I can't go away. So, what were you guys talking about? Uh, to be honest, I couldn't care less who you, go, who you guys really are or where do you come from. Uh, as long as you don't run away and protect my city from the giant monsters. Uh, you're the one who's going to pilot the sentinels. So I'm counting on you. So yeah, she's one of the boss. Uh, so Marimura Sensei and this guy, uh, whose name we don't know yet, are the bosses of the of the government who are trying to time loop and defeat the aliens. Basically, they are the the leaders of the of the resistance group. Uh, don't you have anything to tell me? Uh, I wanted to confirm something. Uh, uh, if I keep my promise, then you will stop using uh, uh, Ryoko Senpai, right? Uh, I, I don't know, I'm not sure who is Ryoko. I think it's one of the protagonists, but I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't plan to use her, but uh, I'd be more careful from now on. Uh, do you need anything else? Uh, I wanted to ask you something else uh, about the promise. Uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, are we going to be fine with just Third, third generation sentinels. Uh, what? Uh, basically, he's saying that the the Mayrei Kengen, like the uh, the commander role. Is um, they are going to transfer the commander role to this uh, glasses guy? Uh, just like I promised, uh, I'll activate the system for you. But why did you pick me to do this job? Uh, you could have just asked Morimura to do it. Uh, I'm planning to get the commander role without her knowing what's happening. Depending on the situation, it's possible she'll be out there fighting too, on the defense. 
what Morimura just said. Uh, that Aegis plan thing. You're talking about the Aegis strategy thing that Morimura just talked about. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're going to stop the loop. Uh, what are they talking about? Uh, if they're going to abandon our city, then I'll never forgive them. Uh, I need to figure out what this plan, what this Aegis plan is. Let's ask him about it. Uh, what are you planning to do with this Aegis plan? Uh, the invaders uh, are aiming to reach the computer at the below, below the city. And each, uh, each core at each terminal has a defense system, but but the defense system won't, will not activate when the aliens attack. So at the same time that the aliens will start attacking, uh, we'll start hacking the terminals. So that way the AG system of the terminal the self-defense self system of the terminal will activate. Uh, oh, so that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, because of that, we'll be unable to use the time machine anymore. We'll never be able to redo things anymore. So yeah, he's explaining that uh, the Aegis plan is something that will uh, they will hack the, the terminals at the same time to forcibly activate it but if they do that then the time machine functions of the terminals will be unusable so they won't be able to travel back in time anymore so if they screw up they'll be doomed so yeah I guess uh, in the battles happening right now that's what's happened basically like they activated the Aegis system them. So by the time the battles are happening, uh, they cannot tra travel back in time anymore. So what's wrong about all this? We just need to win, I don't care about anything else. Uh, the time in this world will stop and everything will get destroyed. And at the end, We'll probably be the, the only one left uh, in the in the defense, basically. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll be the only one left in the ruins. I think the AG system won't be able to to defend the whole Earth, so they they will survive and the city will survive. But the rest of the world will turn into green, I guess. Okay, so we finished uh, another chapter. Um, I guess I'm gonna stop this video here for today. Uh, uh, no, wait, I'm gonna do another, at least another chapter. I'm gonna, I still have some time. Uh, do you wanna save? Yes, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go do... Okay, so now... We need to do an event with uh, Minami to be able to unlock the rest of his story. So now we're gonna pick uh, Fuyusaka Iori and check what's gonna happen in your story. Oh, they're talking about the black cat again. Uh, there's a lot of, of stray cats in this area. Maybe someone is feeding them. Uh, that cat uh, 
Uh, it's probably the same cat that was at school. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Like, uh, uh, Iori, you saw it, right? It was the same cat, right? Oh, look, it was over there. Oh, it left. Uh, after that, we're going to the to the CD store, right? Yeah. So there's a new single of an idol, right? Uh, the vocalist of that idol group kinda looks like Amiguchi. Really? Uh, is that guy really that good? Uh, there's only weird guys at school. You don't think there's anyone good at school? Uh, we can ask her about uh, Amiguchi. Amiguchi uh, is not playing basket anymore. Even thought he was so good at it, it's a waste. Uh, in grade school, he was playing s s football instead. But then he got bored of it and he just stopped. Oh, you guys used to be at the same grade school? Yeah, at, uh, when we were in 4th grade. Uh, me and uh, Eguchi-kun and Nachan were in the same class. Okay. Uh, Miwa, are you going to send him a love letter? Yeah, but my horoscope was was bad this week, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need a lot of uh, courage to confess. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just speaking. Don't worry about what I just said. Uh, we need a four leaf, a four four leaf clover. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, there was a it, um, in a love magazine. They said it's a charm for loves, for love affairs. Uh, if you put a four leaf clover in your love letter, then your love will be fulfilled. Oh yeah, and the other the other week they said something like put the photo of the person you like in your in your makura is a bad thing like in your cushion, right? Okay. Oh, the cat is here. Ah, it ran away. Uh, did you see the cat? It was just there. Uh, okay. Oh, where? Uh, it probably left already. Okay. Oh, she's saying the same thing. Okay. Okay, she's saying the same thing. Miwa, you should you should really give him a love letter. Yeah, but I, I I told you my horoscope was bad this week. Okay. Yeah, she's saying the same thing. Okay, so I need to I need to do something. I'm not sure what, but I I need to do something. Yeah, for, for now the dialogue is looping. Uh, uh, she's saying the same thing than in the inner product. Uh, she's saying she's seeing the same dream every night and it makes her wake up at the middle of the night so she's really sleepy. Uh, 
uh, she's speaking about uh, Sekigahara A, the guy she bumped into in her chapter. Uh, the guy we were playing as just before this. Uh, it seems like she's in love with him. Uh, her best friend. Okay. Uh, I can't speak with uh, the with the glasses girl. I wanna speak with glasses girl. Okay. Uh, instead of love, I want to eat something. I want to eat more. Let's go eat something. Okay. Uh, so where should we go? Uh, I want to eat something sweet. So we should get some ice cream or... No, I want some crepes. Uh, okay, so let's let uh, Iori decide. So we can get either uh, glasses, uh, sorry, ice cream or crepes. Uh, let's get some... Uh, uh, we already got some crepes the other day. So I, I agree with Miwa. Let's go get some ice cream. Uh, okay, it's fine. Okay, let's go. Uh, we all picked the new the new ice cream. Uh, it's some kind of noko milk, like uh, noko. What is noko? It's, uh, it's ice cream uh, super rich in milk. Uh, I was hesitating be between that and the and the chocolate mint flavor. Okay, let's taste it. Uh, Vanillaware games always have some food scenes like that. Oh, there was a plane in the background. I'm not sure if you noticed, like at the top left, there was a plane. Oh, it's really good. Uh, my horoscope said that my lucky item this week was uh, was ice cream. So now you, you, your luck has, has improved, right? Yeah, it did. But maybe I'll get further. Yeah, maybe we're eating a little bit too much. Yeah, you've you've been dieting recently, right? Wait, are you doing this for that one guy you spoke about? No, I'm not. Okay. They're saying the same thing again. So we had a brunch here. Whether we picked uh, ice cream or crepes. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to speak to her about the ice cream, about the fact that. Uh, uh, her luck should have improved, so now she should be able to confess. Yeah, you should confess. 
No, it's embarrassing. I, I find you just looking at him. But I'm jealous of you, uh, Yuri, because you are always speaking with Amiguchi. Uh, earlier today at the lunch break, you were speaking with him too, right? Uh, below the the passageway, below the the hallway. What were we talking about? Uh, we are talking about my dreams. I think like my dreams are connected to the dreams of Amiguchi and the others. So I ask them about it. Uh, so we're gonna remember uh, earlier that day on the lunch break. What did they talk about? About their dreams? About their the dreams they are seeing? Hey, Krabi. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, you, were, you weren't in the class, so... I was wondering if you were here. Uh, you're waiting for Amiguchi, right? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. Are uh, you gonna chat about your dreams again? Uh, Amiguchi is probably gonna bring that up, but... But me, I just wanna ask him if it's fine to go hang out at his house today. Uh, I was thought about it, but... Uh, it, it feels like... Uh, it feels like I met you before, before we met at school. Uh, are you sure we've mev never met before? Uh, I don't think we did. Uh, they're time traveling and they lost their memories, so they definitely met before. Oh, you guys are here. Uh, you saw your dreams again? Yeah. This time it was really awesome. Uh, there was some 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 tanks that could walk. Uh, it was it got defeated by some giant monsters. Yeah, you watched a B-rated movie before sleeping again, right? Uh, how did that how did that dream continue? Yeah, I'm seeing them a lot this, this time, this kind, this times, these days. Uh, you too, right? I saw a dream about about an alien. Uh, it was about uh, uh, a round a round board. Like uh, it had a, tele a teleportation device that allowed you to go back in time. I see that all the time in my, in my dreams. But I. But I'm easily affected by movies, so yeah. Uh, what are you doing here, by the way, Fuyusaka? Maybe. Uh, maybe you're interested in your dream stories? Yeah, about that. Uh, recently, I'm also seeing some weird dreams. So maybe it's connected. So I thought I'd ask you guys about it. Uh, what kind of dream are you seeing? Uh, I'm seeing dreams about these tanks with legs. Really? Oh, I want to hear more about this dream. 
Okay, so I need to tell him about it. Okay, so we're gonna talk to him about the dream and we're gonna see the dream at the same time. So this is gonna be a dream sequence, uh, a flashback dream sequence instead in, inside a flashback sequence. Okay. I think that was you in that dream. Uh, Sumire Bridge in 2089, so in the in the future, uh, at the other side of the river, the new century tower isn't built yet. So it's before they made that tower. So I'm all alone uh, 16 years in the past. And Juro and Okinokun didn't manage to escape. Uh, this is a, this is a, the era when I, wa when I was just born. Uh, in this world, 16 years ago, 16 years ago, I'm all alone. What I, what I am going to do? What the hell is this? Uh, is this... This is Sumire Bridge, right? Uh, I managed to go back? Hey, wait! Oh, okay... Uh, he's saying you're... You're Morimura Chihiro, right? I'm Ida Tetsuya, so this is before they lost their memories, so they're using different names. And this is just after the the other dream when we were playing as this guy, we saw the previous time, the previous videos, and basically he just revealed that uh, Iori is actually Chihiro, with the teacher, uh, with the boss, one of the bosses of the Aegis plan, and one of the bosses of the Sentinels, etc. So the nurse and the the body sweet woman was actually her. Uh, I was sent by you from the future. So I came here in the in 2089. The me from the future? Yeah, the, I was told to go back and see you on Sumire Bridge uh, 16 years ago to tell you about uh, our battle. And that this time we'll manage to defeat them. Uh, it's starting to get noisy, we should leave. Uh, it'll be annoying if we get caught by the police. So let's leave here. Uh, are you going to leave that mecha here? Yeah. Uh, we'll need it later, but I'll think about it later. Uh, I think it's best if we run away together. Okay, so... Uh, so Fusaka Yuri is actually the, the nurse uh, from the future. Um, she, uh, Fusaka Yuri is a is a past persona personality. Uh, yes, I'm gonna save. Uh, I'm just gonna redo the same the same uh, the, the same chapter, but by picking the the creeps instead of the instead of the ice cream. We're gonna restart from here. Uh, I can fast forward. Uh, I'm gonna pick the ice cream instead. 
Yeah, let's go eat, yeah? Uh, and then we're gonna take another story path. Uh, do you want to eat soft cream or ice or crepes? Uh, I'm gonna pick crepes. Uh, I want to eat crepes just like Usami. Uh, the story is going to change now, I guess. Uh, it's nice because there are many. Um, this story seems like seem like completely mundane. But then there will be some bigger changes coming. Oh, Miwa, you picked the same crepe as usual. Oh no, you didn't pick the choco banana like usual. Yeah, because uh, the strawberry one was half price. So let's eat. Yeah, me too. Uh, so how is it? Yeah, my mouth is filled with cream. Oh, that's right. Uh, tsuna mayo, it's my mayonnaise. Oh, if we put some mayonnaise in it, maybe the cat will come and eat it. No, that's bad. No, I've got some curry curry, like some cat food. So we should give them that instead. Wait, so Miwako, you're the one who's been feeding all the stray cats in the area. So if we see the cats uh, again, uh, I should call you, right? Okay, so let's go find the cat now. And the cat is here. Oh. So. Yeah, she's saying the same thing as earlier. So I need to spot the cat, then I need to call her. I need to be fast enough. Uh, she's saying the same thing. Then the cat comes back. And then I need to. Okay, now. No, no, I killed him. Hey, hey. Hey, here. Oh, give me a second. Okay, we cooked the cat. And that cat is super suspicious because that's the cat that that other protagonist girl saw. Uh, it was talking and it was like a cube, like where it, where. It, he, he spoke about some contracts and stuff. Uh, he's definitely suspicious. And that cat was also in other places. Oh, she's saying that uh, its uh, its color is a little bit different than the one at school. So it's supposedly not the same cat. I'm pretty sure it's the same one and it's maybe even the bad guy of the game or something. Oh, so it's a different cat. Oh, Yuri, you look you look at that cat pretty close. Uh, when you were speaking with Kurabe in front of the of the school gates. Oh, so you saw me back then. Oh, it ran away. Uh, Kurabe is a bit weird, isn't he? What were you talking about with him? Okay, so we've got another, we've got access to another flashback now. Yeah, we are, we are on a different, uh, we are on a different story, storyline basically. That's really nice. And we're gonna see something else now. She's laughing. Yeah, it's still 8 a.m. and 10 minutes. 
look at myself waking up so early. Uh, I can do it if I can. I can. I can do it if I want. She's really hyped because she's not late for once. Usually she's always late. Uh, same things, okay. And the cat is here. Yeah, I'm happy I woke up this early. Oh, he's sleeping. Hey, morning, Fiesaka. Hey, uh, quiet. Oh, the cat is sleeping. Uh, it looks similar to one of the stray cats in my neighbor, in my neighborhood. Maybe they are siblings. Hey, Kurabe. Uh, are you still seeing these these uh, weird dreams? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, I saw them too. Uh, I saw a dream about uh, the UFO, about the alien buried uh, under under something. A uh, UFO. Hey, morning, Yuri. Oh, it's Sammy. Good morning. Uh, what were you guys talking about? Oh, we were talk we are watching that cat. Uh, she's suspicious. Yeah, tell me more about that about the dream. Yeah, okay. Oh, Megumi. Megumi is living. Uh, so, what kind of dream was that thing with the UFO? Okay, so now we're gonna see another flashback in another flashback. Cool. But it's. I, I'm. I'm making jokes like this, but it's actually really well written, and I'm surprised I'm understanding everything so perfectly. Okay, so we're 30 meters under the city, and there's some UFO, some alien technology buried under the city. Oh, nice, nice dashing animation. Hey, Jewel. I thank God. Uh, I was worried when you said that. Uh, oh no, I, um, I'm happy you you're here to help because uh, I can't uh, investigate all this alone. Uh, if something happened to you, then I. Hey, Juo, stop. Uh, I'm happy about your feelings, but... Uh, I don't want to think about this right now. Uh, I can't give you an answer for your feelings. I see. Yeah, I, I was... Um, I wasn't right in my head either. Like confessing, co confessing at a time like this, uh, it only confused you. I'm, I'm. Uh, when, when everything is over, when everything is over, I will confess to you again. So Juba is in love with her, but her is in love with another guy. At least in the future, because. Like, this is a dream from the past, and uh, the 
Megumi, Megumi is the other girl, is in love with Jiro. So there's a love uh, quadruple, a love, like a love square or something. Oh, it's happening again. Oh, and this is Okino, the guy who invented the Sentinel. He's a genius boy, basically. Oh, uh, so. Kono, kono, uh, did you. Get something about the origin of these of these shocks of these earthquakes. Oh, Okino. Uh, so there was a giant monster who was unable to move anymore, and it fell down underground and this is what causing the the tremors this is what causing the, earth, the earthquakes the tunnel the tunnel has, has uh, collapsed, co collapsed so in order to go back to the surface we need to find another path yeah there's no reason to hurry up and go back anyway uh, there's nothing good uh, on the surface right now. Hey, it's Kasa. Hey, he's speaking, basically, they're getting attacked by the aliens right now, and he's saying that it's useless going back to the surface. Uh, there's nothing, I guess. Nothing to investigate? Yeah, okay. Uh, I have no keywords, okay. Uh, you remember it, right? Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't save your mother. It's fine. Uh, while I was uh, investigating this place, I, st I stopped thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna Mikono. I'm gonna go look at the terminal at the other side. Uh, Morimura, I didn't mean this in a bad way. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So yeah, he's saying that uh, her mother uh, is probably dead because uh, the surface is getting attacked by the aliens right now. Uh, there's only data on this block, but uh, uh, there's only data in this thing. But it took us uh, three days to only to only analyze one per one point two percent. Uh, uh, the data in this thing is completely is a, is on a whole other level of our, of our own data. But the, uh, this data this data is on a whole other level and it takes us forever to analyze it. But at the same time, it's it's using the same logical, the same logical things that what we are using too. Maybe just like Okinokun said, this is some ruins, some remnants of uh, of some alien civilization. Uh, what is this device for? Uh, you'll probably get surprised about this. Uh, according to my to my theories, this is a teleportation device. Yeah, don't look at me that way and listen to me first. <laughs> Sorry. 
I found some data regarding this device. Uh, particles. Uh, you've took some, so you you studied you studied the the particles too, right? Uh, we learned that at school, it's impossible to transfer matter. Uh, matter, tele matter teleportation is impossible, and he's saying that the alien's ruins here, uh, the alien's ruins here are unable to be explained by our science. Uh, if my theories are correct, then the cases of the people who suddenly disappeared can be explained by this. Uh, Morimura, your, your parents too must have disappeared because of this. Hey, you too, come see something. So yeah, this is in the past. And before they started time traveling, and Iori was still called uh, Morimura. And she then she time traveled and she becomes uh, the health teacher of her own school. So it's interesting because it means there's no paradox if the person from the past meets themselves from the future. It's not like back in the future. There's no time paradox happening if the same person meets themselves in the past or in the future. Uh, it took me some time to analyze this, but I found this in this in the data. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, it's uh, it's the full size of these ruins. It's huge. Uh, it's 30 kilometers in total. And this thing is buried under the city. Uh, it's just like a giant round table. This is fun. So we're inside this thing. We're inside a buried UFO. But this is just 300 meters below. So this is where no one found these ruins until now. No, that's wrong, Morimura. Uh, people found it, but they were hiding it. Probably. Uh, so the government was hiding the existence of the aliens. It is just like a movie from the 20th century. So the giant monsters are aiming for this round table, for this one thing, and that's why they are, they are drilling holes. What are they planning to do? Uh, it seems to be related to this data. These are numbers coming out from the round, from the round table. Uh, what do you guys think this is? This is, this is a countdown, right? Uh, uh, so this countdown started moving down when the giant monsters uh, started uh, reaching the chorus. Uh, it's better if we in investigate this more. Okay, I can't tell him anything else. Uh, I can't think about the keywords, okay. 
I know we're in a dear situation, but my heart, my heart can't stop, can't stop racing. Uh, this uh, this wound object from an ancient civilization from a, this this one object from aliens is full of su of surprise. What do you think about it? Uh, when this countdown reaches zero, what will happen? Uh, this is something probably related to the distortion of gravity. Let me check this one second, please. Yeah, this is related to the abnormal gravity waves we've, uh, we've detected. Like when the countdown reaches zero, maybe these, these winds will, will start flying, we'll get out of the earth and start flying. Uh, we need to keep investigating and deciphering things. Uh, we need to investigate what will happen. So, yeah, these three are pretty much the first people who discovered the, these ruins after the government. And this is all how everything started, I guess. And this is why uh, Fuyosaka, who was called Chihiro in the past, became the boss of this uh, of the plan to defeat the aliens. And she started wearing the body suits later. Okay. So we learned a lot today. Uh, we saw some battles. We fought the first, the, the first boss of the game, and now we we learned some nice things. Like this girl is actually the teacher. Okay. So I'm gonna stop here for today. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing the game as far as I can. I'm gonna do the whole game like this, basically translating on the go, because uh, it doesn't seem like Atlas and Sega and Vanilla were are going to release this in the West anytime soon. Like it was announced a long time ago, but it probably won't come out anytime soon. So I'm gonna do the whole game like this for those who want to discover the game. So thanks for watching. Uh, this was Ian from Dual Shockers, the guy who's always writing about Japanese games. Uh, stay tuned on Dual Shockers. See you, see you next video. And uh, remember to subscribe and put some thumbs up and some comments. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.